All right, I'm going to talk about um, Fedora 26 and KVM a little bit. Um, I've got uh, Fedora 26, the KDE Plasma uh, spin installed here on my laptop. Um, my laptop is a quad core uh, Intel i5 4310 at 2.7 GHz. And I have 16 gigs of RAM, um, and I've got like a, a terabyte uh, spinning hard drive. So what I wanted to show you is um, KVM nested. That's where you run KVM within KVM. But I'm going to do uh, nested nested um, just to make it a little more interesting. If you want to know how to make nested KVM work, you can just search for how to make nested KVM and Fedora and the top search results should come up um, this page that gives you some basic information on how to do it how to check if it's uh, enabled or not and then how to create a virtual machine that will inherit the CPU properties um, that sort of thing so anyway I've got a number of uh, virtual machines set up here so let's get started I'm just going to start um, Virtual Machine Manager or Vert Manager. And I've got a few virtual machines on this uh, laptop, but none of them are currently running. I'm going to start this Fedora 26 XFCE. And once uh, the main window of the virtual machine is open, if you don't need it uh, to access any of the rest of it, you can close the main window. And I've got the toolbar turned off just so I have a little more uh, screen real estate to, to look at. And I've got all mine set to scale always. But um, to look at the, the properties of this virtual machine, I've given it two virtual CPUs. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. Um, and it's got a 100 gig disk. So anyway. I'm going to start the virtual machine. This is uh, Fedora XFCE. When I, I like Plasma on my desktops and works uh, desktops and laptops, but for virtual machine, if I want to run a GUI in there, I'll usually use XFCE because it's a lot lighter weight. Um, it doesn't start up as many processes and that sort of thing. Oh, one other thing to notice um, in the details here under the CPU options. As mentioned in that little uh, web page that shows you how to enable it, host dash pass through is what you want for the CPU type, and that'll drop through so that you can run KVM within KVM. So I'm going to log in. And my user, uh, Dowdle, is a member of the libvirt group, so Dowdle can run uh, Vert Manager without having to authenticate. So um, this is started up, and I've kind of customized XFCE the way I like it. I like one panel at the bottom, and I changed the default XFCE, XFCE icon to the Fedora icon. And I used the whisker menu. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start Virt Manager in here. So this will be the first nesting, and I've got one virtual machine named Fedora 26. Again, I can close the main window of Vert Manager if I want to. So now we're running a virtual machine within a virtual machine, and that takes just a few seconds to start up. One level of nesting is not too bad. You, you can notice a performance hit, but um, it's not that bad, really. Now, if I had you know multiple virtual machines running within a virtual machine, I'm sure you know the more you put, tax it with. Uh, the more poorly it will perform. But you can see it takes a little bit longer to start up uh, this additional virtual machine within a virtual machine. I'm going to log in. Again, XFCE configured the same way as um, the other XFCE. Makes a nice little nested look here as I have window within a window within a window. So, I'm going to start up Virtual Manager inside of here. And I've got another virtual machine inside of this virtual machine, which is inside the other virtual machine. That's called Fedora 26. 
And um, let me back up here and show you this one. Um, I guess I already showed you this one. Okay. Oops. Okay. So what are the properties of this one? Well, um, it has 2 gigs of RAM and it has a 10 gig hard drive. And we're going to see how long it takes to start this one up. It's going to take a lot longer. Again, this one's set up uh, very similarly to the other ones. It's XFCE. And I've customized um, the XFCE settings to the way I like the panel at the bottom, etc. and so forth. Um, and I've also turned off all unnecessary services that I'm not using. So I have optimized it a tiny bit, but nothing um, too dramatic. And this is going to take a few minutes. Because um, when you're nested this deeply, uh, it just takes a little longer. Now while the display is a little bit different than the rest of the uh, VMs where you've got the Fedora logo filling up and then switching to a graphical login, I'm not sure what those three dots are and, and why it's so different because um, it was installed from the same ISO image and, and has pretty close to the same exact package set and everything. Um, but it'll take just a minute so I will shut up and just let it load. I can tell you my hard drive light is flashing. guess I could pause the recording um, but it takes a baby I don't know minute two three minutes I'm not I don't I didn't really time it but it says it's 10 06 in the morning here let's um, continue to watch this thing load and just so you know my host machine is still fairly usable um, it's really not impacted because I've got you know excess resources. I've got uh, quite a bit of memory here. And my second layer of virtual machine seems to be pretty um, running pretty well. I think my um, the virtual machine that was just starting up would start up a lot faster if, uh, if I'd quit trying to start stuff in the other virtual machines. I'm just trying to show you that the machine is still fairly performant, except in this innermost uh, layer of nesting for KVM. That does take quite a performance hit, but you know the point is it does work, so that's pretty impressive that I can run a virtual machine inside a virtual machine inside a virtual machine. But that innermost virtual machine is pretty darn slow. How slow is it? Um, I'd guess it's probably a 20th as fast and that's just a raw uh, ballpark figure without any real numbers to back it up. It may be more. Um, I, think, I think it's mostly memory and disk. I'm not real sure what uh, the bottleneck is. Hey, I've got a mouse pointer showed up, so I think the graphical, there we go. Okay, so now let's log in. And even log it in, uh, getting X the XFCE desktop environment to start up even though it does use less resources than say KDE Plasma. It's still with this innermost virtual machine being pretty slow it takes it uh, a lot longer than it would normally to start up but start up it will. Here we go we're getting the desktop. 
In each one of these desktops, the resolution is set to be 7, uh, 1280 by 720. And since all of them are set to scale to the window size that it is, um, they kind of stack nicely even though they're all the same resolution. You can sort of see every little step that happens in XFC um, loading that you normally can't see because it goes by so fast. While that continues to load, I'm going to go into my first level of virtual machine and let's say search for Fedora 26 on YouTube. I have no idea um, if any of these videos is any good. I haven't watched them. But just to show you video still does work and, and these virtual machines work okay. And, I've, and I'm recording this video at 30 frames a second. Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Glad to be back. Uh, just for those of you who well, are look, independent sound control works in there. Looks like he's running Fedora 26 on Windows 10 and VirtualBox. Ha ha ha. Let's see him run VirtualBox within VirtualBox. Okay, anyway, this thing is loaded now. Um, and I'm going to open up a terminal. You can see starting clicking on the Fedora button. And all this stuff is a little bit slower than you'd normally get in a virtual machine. But it w does work okay. Let me bump up this font a little bit. You can see just opening dialogues is quite a bit slower too. Um, you can see this level deep, I could not get the um, I could not get that um, host dash pass through option to work. It just said it couldn't do it. So I'm not going to be able to nest anymore, even if I were able to tolerate um, and be patient and put up with the slowness of it. I'm going as deep as you can go, but that's still pretty deep. And again, I've got two gigs of RAM and one gig of swap, basically. I'm going to switch to another virtual desktop, and let's start up Firefox. Just to show you that networking works. Um, I'm using NAT for all of this, and I'm on Wi-Fi with my laptop. So the first virtual machine is NATed through the host. Then the second virtual machine is NATed through the first virtual machine, which is NATed through the host. And then the third virtual machine is NATed through the second virtual machine, which is NATed through the third virtual machine, which is NATed through the host. So we've got a lot of network address translation going on here, but it does work. And I did click on Firefox to start it, and it takes you know a while to start up because Firefox is quite a big program. And since we've got the um, performance delay this deep nested in KVM yes it is pretty slow to start up but as you can see uh, my host machine is still pretty fast it's working like normal
Oh, looks like Firefox is getting there. Maybe I don't have it set to go anywhere. Well, I think it should open up to the Fedora start page. It just takes it uh, a little while to load. Or maybe I can just click on home. Now it may appear that the network is slow, um, but I can tell you when I copied um, an ISO image into this virtual machine at one time it was getting about um, 45 megabytes a second, which isn't too bad going within the internal networking of KVM. So the network is not really that slow, it's just you know the execution of everything this deep inside of uh, nested KVM is slowing everything down. And eventually we'll get our um, Fedora start page. You can see it's put in the address. It's doing connecting, reading start fedoraproject.org. So as you probably gathered, I don't really recommend this. It's just kind of cool that you can do uh, nested nested. There we go. The page showed up. You can see everything about it is slow. Now I will show you how long it takes to shut them down. Looks like the um, Plymouth little animation on shutdown works fine. Alright, that machine is shut down. I'm going to shut down this one. You can see this one's a lot faster. much much faster and there we are we're back to normal and I can stop my screen recording thanks for watching